everyone, I'm Laura Noel and this is my 31 week pregnancy update. I am 31 weeks pregnant and baby is the size of a pineapple. My due date is still September 15th, however we did get our C-section scheduled and so that is scheduled for September 9th. Um, I will be 39 weeks and one day at that point. Of course, she may decide to come earlier than that, so um, that is the absolute latest that she will come. If you haven't heard why I'm having a C-section and all that stuff, I will have the video linked below for why I'm high risk and why we are doing a scheduled C-section. I didn't have any more doctor's appointments this week. I do have an OB appointment and a growth scan next week at 32 weeks. My symptoms are pretty much the same as always, tired, sleepy, not getting good sleep, still taking um, the Unisomin B6, still taking iron, and still getting some leg cramps, not as bad as they were, thankfully. I kind of stretch through them when I feel them coming on, and that kind of seems to keep them from getting super terrible. Um, one thing with my hypoglycemia, I've really been trying to figure out how to not end up starving all the time. Every time I seem to go out of the house, I end up super starving, and then I have to like stop at fast food place to get food, and that's that's just that's not ideal. So I finally went and picked up a whole ton of protein bars, especially Luna bars. I love these things. So they have several different kinds of Luna protein. I have tried the chocolate chip cookie dough and the lemon vanilla, and then I bought four other flavors. Um, yesterday and so I'm just carrying these in my purse they have um, these have like about 10 or, or they have about 12 to 13 grams of protein in them and they hold me over for at least a good hour usually if I'm not absolutely starving so those have made a really big difference for my hunger and just keeping me good and satisfied my emotions this week haven't been too crazy nothing too memorable my weight gain, I only gained one pound this week, yay! So that puts me up 31 and a half pounds. Cravings and aversions, nothing super crazy. I have been really, really enjoying chicken tortilla casserole, which is a recipe that my mom had, um, and it's not healthy. It's got like cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup and tortillas and cheese and mmm, it's so good. And I've, it's something that I've just loved this entire pregnancy. Uh, and every time I think of it, I want it like, oh my gosh, I really want it right now. <sighs> but yeah, so I definitely enjoyed that last week. Mm -hmm. Essential oils I've used this week. I don't think I have used any really other than just like my purification spray and my thief spray that I use like all the time. <laughs> Preparations for baby, we did have our breastfeeding class last week and it was it was a good experience. Um, my husband definitely learned a lot. I knew a lot of the information um, because I am absolutely loving reading The Womanly Art of Breastfeeding um, by the Le Leche League. And seriously, if you want to breastfeed, you need to read this book. I'm only on chapter like, I don't even know only this far through, uh, but it is amazing. And I made sure to read through the newborn first two weeks of life chapter before the class, which is why I kind of already knew a lot of the stuff. And, but it was really good because some of the things that she said, it was put on by a nurse at the hospital that I'm giving birth at. And so it was really good for me to understand their perspective, what they're gonna ask me to do, what they're not gonna let me do, you know, coming from what their point of view is. And then some of the things she was saying, I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's not exactly true because I know that this is actually written by women who are successfully breastfed for long periods of time and really know their stuff. So, yeah. Uh, but overall, the class was pretty good and she did give some pretty good basic information. So, I'm definitely glad we went. Um, I have been having a lot of anxiety about breastfeeding um I, I mean i know some about it and i'm trying to learn more but there's just so many variables that you don't know especially because i'm having a c-section you know 
I, you know, I was talking to my doctor and asking her like, how soon could I breastfeed? And um, that, you know, they don't want me to do it in the operating room, so we have to wait till the recovery room, which is typically after the baby comes back from the nursery and all this stuff. And I'm just like, oh, I just hope that everything goes goes well. But you know, you never really know. Um, other things I have been working on, I did work on a very simple birth plan, which I am going to talk to one of my doctors about this coming week, and then I will share it in a video after I talk to my doctor about it. I also pretty much finished prepping my diaper stash and getting my table organized, so I will be sharing that video very soon. And I also made a blanket and a lovey for Miss Maddie, and so these videos will be coming up soon. Um, so be looking out for all sorts of videos coming but this was just a minky blanket that i made and i um sewed a little m on there for her name and then the little lovey um it's the same fabric as the noah's art because that's kind of our little theme and i embroidered her name maddie in there and i'm gonna make another lovey too one with the gray to match the blanket but I needed a break from sewing, so <laughs> that was that. Baby buys this week. I'm pretty sure the only thing that I bought um, was these Boon Dive bathtub appliques I got off Amazon because I needed something to fill in an order. Um, so I just grabbed these for like, I don't know, they're less than 10 bucks. The other thing with preparation for baby is the baby shower. Uh, we have been working a lot on the baby shower, my friend and I got together several times and we've been working on the decor and so I did buy a whole bunch of stuff for the baby shower. Another thing I will be doing a video about, um, but I won't be posting that video until after the shower, um, my shower is next week. So um, I'll show you all the stuff that we did for decor and games and all that fun stuff. So that is pretty much it for 31 weeks. Um, we'll show you the belly. At this point, it's just getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> but it's getting bigger so slowly that I don't really even notice it. It's just growing and growing. And I really do need to start measuring it so that I actually know how big it's growing, but I'm always too lazy. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. That's pretty much it for 31 weeks. I'll see you next time.